Do not be deceived. These two people are evil. They don't like God. Do not be deceived. These two people, they are evil and they don't like God. So many of us, we think because someone is from a Christian home, it automatically makes them a Christian. Or because someone is, uh, is in the house of a pastor, it automatically makes them a lover of God. Or because someone is a churchgoer, a religious person, they go to church every day, it makes them a lover of God. No, not necessarily. It doesn't. Because someone is from a Christian home does not necessarily mean they are a lover of God. No. Um, remember, there the, the, are these two people. You have to be, you have to be very watchful. Okay, I pray that you have the spirit of discernment to to be able to discern these things I'm talking about. Remember, um, Phineas and, and what's the other name? Hophni, yes, Hophni and Phineas. They were the sons of the great prophet Eli. They were the sons of the prophet Eli, and yet they were evil. They were even seducing the people of God, the, the daughters of God, to, to sleep with them. They ate, the, they ate the, the, the sacrifices that was meant for God. They were evil. Sons of the prophet, but were very evil and mischievous. Do not look at the surrounding circumstance of someone's life to detect who they are. Know them for who they are. And the Bible says, do not know any man in the flesh. It means seek to find out who they are from the realms of the spirit. The, the Bible says they have the form of godliness, but they have denied the power thereof. They look like something they are not. You might tend to trust them because they call the name of the Lord, but they are not. They do not serve the agenda of God. They are evil. You should stay away from, the, from them. I don't know why I keep hammering on this word, but you have to be alert. Because they say, Jesus, Jesus, or they say, Lord, Lord, does not mean they fear the Lord. Do not let yourself be deceived. Do not let yourself be taken advantage of. Judge, test every spirit. Try to know who they are before you give yourself to them in any sort. Hallelujah. I hope I was able to minister to someone. God bless you mightily. Shalom.